Hey guys, in our video today, we're going to be working on decimals on a number line. How to know where to put them. Let's go ahead and get started. I have three numbers on the screen here. First, six tenths, 75 hundredths, and one and two tenths. I have the ones place underlined here just to serve as a reminder that we will be working with a whole number. Whole numbers with decimals on number lines can be a little complicated, like fractions and whole numbers on a number line, but we'll get through it. The first thing we need to do is in order to put these on a number line, we need to have a number line. So in your notebook with me, you're going to draw your number line. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, but it does need to be legible, meaning that you can read it and someone else, like your teacher. Now, the next thing we need to do is figure out what numbers we actually need on here. And we're going to need some whole numbers. So let's start off with a zero because all of our numbers are greater than zero. And the next thing we're going to ask ourselves is what next whole number are we going to need? Are we going to need a one? Are we going to need a two? Well, we could probably stop at two and here's why. We have a one and two tenths, which tells us that we're going to need numbers in the number line that are greater than one because one and two tenths is greater than one. But we don't have any whole numbers that are two, meaning that all three of our numbers are less than two. So on our number line, we can stop at two. Now let's put a number in the middle because it's not fun to jump by twos when we're putting numbers on a number line. And we know that halfway between zero and two is the number one. So in between zero and two, about halfway, place a number one. Awesome. Let's actually put these numbers on our number line now, and let's start with six tenths. For six tenths, that means that we need 10 spaces between the zero and the one because 10 tenths make up one whole, all right? And so the tenths place in the decimal is kind of a giveaway to how many spaces we need between zero and one. So let's zoom in between our zero and one and remind ourselves that we're working with the number six tenths. And since we need 10 equal spaces, I kind of like to have a halfway point first, just like we did the halfway point between zero and two. So halfway between zero and one is the number, there's half or five tenths. So we already have half of our work cut out for us here. Now, our next thing is we need to figure out how are we going to make equally spaced lines between the zero and five tenths, and how many of them? Reminder that we have to go by tenths. Sometimes this takes a little bit of guesswork and some erasing, um, but I'm gonna put some equally spaced lines best as I can here. So two, one tenths, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths. You can hear me counting to myself. Uh, and let's check my work now to see if my lines are correct. I always start from the zero and I hop from there. So this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths at the line, four tenths, and then five tenths. Perfect, I've equally spaced lines. Let's keep going the other way. That should be about six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. Let's check my work, that's six tenths, seven tenths, hop over to eight tenths, hop over to nine tenths, hop over to 10 tenths, or one whole, perfect. So six tenths would fall right about here. Perfect, nice job, let's zoom back up. Okay, so we have six tenths on our number line. Let's do 75 hundredths. So when we say 75 hundredths, that means that really we should be placing this number between the zero and one and cutting up this space into 100 little pieces because we're working with hundredths. However, that's a lot of work. And let's show how we can simplify this by zooming back in. So we've already cut up our spaces into tenths, which is fine because we have uh, 75 hundredths, meaning a seven in the tens place. Let me show you what we're gonna do here. Let's just write down our number to remind us. So we're going to be working with the tenths place here, and it's going to be between the tenths place of seven tenths and eight tenths, because there's no eight here, but we have a seven. So we're working right in these spaces right here. Now we have a five, which tells us it's going to be halfway between the seven tenths and the eight tenths. If you wanted to, you could certainly cut up these spaces between the 7 tenths and the 8 tenths into 10 equal spaces. I don't know if I did that correctly. Let's see. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did, I got lucky. So this would be 70 one hundredths, 72 hundredths, 73 hundredths, 74 hundredths, 75 hundredths, 76, 77, 78, 79, you get the point. So 75 hundredths would be right about here. All right, so let's zoom back out and let's do our last number. It's kind of tiny. Sorry for how tiny that is. Okay, one and two tenths. So we're working with a number that is more than one this time. And the same thing though, we have tenths, meaning that we need 10 equal spaces between the one and the two. So since we've already done this, we're going to kind of breeze through it a little bit quicker here. Here's halfway between one and two. So this is not just half this time, it is one and a half. All right, so now we need equal spaces between the one and the one and a half, or as equal as they can be, and then the one and a half and the two. Okay, so we start from the one, and this would be 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. And our 1 1.2, I'm sorry, one and two tenths is going to be right here. So there you have it. We have placed all three numbers on a number line. Pay attention to that decimal. When you say it, that's going to tell you how many pieces you should be cutting up your interval between your whole number. Hope this helped. Watch it again if you need some more assistance, and we'll see you later.